Tim, there was certainly a lot of huff and a lot of puff at the start of that second half, but again, sort of the masters of our undoing in some respects. Yeah, um, listen, they score, what, five minutes from half-time, you come in at nil-nil, it's, it's two even teams at the end of the day, you know, we're where we are in the league, they're top five, and there's nothing between it, it apart from, a mi- you know, ball into our box, we had it out, we got, I bet, I bet if I look it back, run the, run the tape back now, I bet we're something like 7v3 in our own box, in our favour. We head it out to the edge of the box and yet there's nobody picking the kid young up. Who I say, by the way, can shoot from distance. He rifles it. In the t- exactly the same second goal. We've been on the front foot second half. We've created chances from set plays and don't, don't get our foot on it in the business area. Baker Richardson goes through. All right, decent save. Wordsworth has a couple of shots from the edge, blocked away. They haven't laid a glove on us and then... The ball bounces between four of my defenders on the point of the 18-yard box around that area from here. Their one wins it, squares it. Once again, we're zoning off, not doing Get out to the ball and block it. And the minute it left his foot, I, I just knew it was going to find its way in the bottom corner from where I was stood. You know, it's a, it's a game that we should should get something out of. In the end of the day, it's, listen, you turn up, oh, it's, it's, you know, it's, it's Rex and they're fifth in the league and all that. Come on, listen, it, there's no, like, unbelievable sides in this league they don't get up against people we matched them up tonight in terms of the shape so that you know they've been playing a 3-5 for a while we, we matched that up so you're 3v2 at either end and then you're man for man all over the pitch so get hold of a man and make his life a misery but in the end of the day it's two midfield players that have scored their goals from range and we ain't anywhere near them so you know they're poor goals to concede and you know I'm, once again I'm standing here saying the same story to you it was an even first half course separated by that late goal and then at the start from the start of the second off we came out really well getting onto the to the loose balls in the in the final third and in the midfield area mm. had as you say a couple of chances do you feel maybe we we certainly warranted an equaliser at that point well we should, you've got to take your chances listen I said at half time listen I said from minute one when I walked in the door I want to turn people around right if you ask any centre half in any league what don't I want to do is turn around and run back towards my own goal because it's a catalogue of things can happen and they're all bad so we want to like tip and tap around and, and if you leave it in with some quality I'm not saying like whack it from over drop it in behind have willing runners up the top who will chase it and get on it and secure it and get your territory up the pitch then in the final third you've got licence to go 1v1 get balls in the box get shots off first half we didn't do it enough second half we turned them around with more quality and more regularity and the strikers bent their runs across the line and got in behind people and all of a sudden they didn't look quite so happy um it's funny i'm just talking to dean keats and he's saying that he's just said to him after the game what did they do to you in the second half that was hurting you when they turned this round oh, really you know um and the more often you do that the more chances you're going to get up the pitch and be able to create something and we did create chances but we didn't convert them but unfortunately it's the same old it's the same old same old isn't it you know and it, not only do we not convert, but we also shoot ourselves in the foot, as you quite rightly say, by, by conceding two poor goals when we think safety in numbers zoning out. No, get in somebody's face and defend properly. But um, uh, as I say, I'm, I'm singing the same tune to you. You changed the shape this evening and in general play, certainly as you said, and we've all said it was a, it was a very even game. Do you think that set up worked better for us this evening? Well, I, I tried it. I sort of when I first came in because they were playing sort of a four-two-three-one type situation, I thought, well, it's pointless me doing that on the back of the results. I'll, I'll change it. Went three at Dorking, didn't work. Didn't work. We didn't um, the personnel within that shape didn't work. I actually quite like the shape. Lee Vaughan's come into the building and he's stick on in that right wing back role. He's Lee's a good player. Um, he knows that role inside out. Taylor, I spoke to as a left wing back. I thought he could have asserted himself more going forward. But listen, they, they've, they've got one or two big lads. He made us big in terms of restarts, defending and, and attacking. Um, yeah, listen, I wanted to match him up, get some size into the team. You know, I thought that get two nines down the middle, get someone up with Hooper. You know, Baker Richardson wants to play there, Far wants to play there. Well, go on then. You know, here's your chance. Um, they worked. I thought they worked fairly hard. You know, I thought Hooper grafted away, won some, won his headers. Um, you know, worked hard enough for the team. But in the, in the end, it's still not good enough. 
as you say, just finally, the application has certainly certainly improved from from last Tuesday. And it's an it's an away game on Saturday against Bromley. It's a, it's got to be, I guess, the minimum expectation that in what we did well in general play today, we've got to do that again Saturday and try and be a bit more ruthless. Well, listen, how many times have I mean you and I speak mm-hmm. and Dan on a regular basis during the week, and I say, well, yeah, but how many times have it's gone like, well. All right, listen, let's cut through all that. We've still got beat. Yeah. We lost the game. Mm. So, listen, we're, we're, we're a team of losers at the end of the day. We're losing football matches. Mm. And it's all right going, oh, yeah, well done, over. you tried. Come on, that's your job. Mm. You know, man up, face face facts, right? We find a way to get beat. We do, we do all right, we do some good things, and then we, we, we melt, you know, we melt away. Um, so how many times have we said this season, OK, that was a decent point, then we go away and it's like three, four, five again. Mm. Because... I don't know. We can't sustain mentally or physically the rigours of a, of, a, of a national league season, and that is the truth. That is the truth. You know, I said in t- listen. When I stand in there, I'm not buttering, buttering them up. I don't care if they like me. I really don't care. You know, but they players have to know the, the home truths. And, and the bottom line is, it don't matter whether it's an improvement or we create chances. You still, we still lost the game. We lost a game of football that we shouldn't have lost. We shouldn't have lost because we should have, should have converted some of the chances we created because they were good enough chances to convert. And we certainly shouldn't concede two bog standard shots from distance because we're, we're happy to zone off and, and not get involved and flinch away. So ultimately, it's, it's, it's disappointing. Um, so, yeah, listen, we, obviously I'll watch it back and revisit it.